guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and my camera's a little wonky. There we go. Um, today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And in my cat mug, don't stress me out, I've got Barry's tea that I ordered on iHerb. Hi, Dub. That I ordered on iHerb and it's a product of Ireland and it is delicious. It's a black tea Irish breakfast. Oh, so good. I put a little cream in it, and I guess somebody wants to say hi. You want to say hi? Hi. He's like, no, I want to lay down. Okay. Well, that was dub. Okay, but first I have a little bit of friend mail. I got a Valentine's Day card. I'm just going to say first names. Her name is Joanne, and I believe she handmade that. Look at it. Is that not adorable? I think that is so cute. So thank you so much. Okay, buddy, let's not lay on the stuff. He's crazy. Oh, somebody didn't like that I talked to my cat. Sorry. And this is from Teresa. And look at that. Isn't that awesome? Valentine Day card. Thank you, Teresa. I love it. And a beautiful note from you both. And then Vicky, thank you for my towels. I love them. And I'm going to be hanging these all over my house. I love them. I'm almost debating making like... Um, placemats for my end table but we'll see but thank you I really appreciate it immensely and I wanted to show that first buddy what you doing all right we're gonna do a Dollar Tree haul I picked up a few more things I've decided I'm gonna start collecting these blind things and then we'll open them all up at one time so this time I found trolls so I'm assuming it's a little troll in there um, again, guys, Easter baskets, it's the time. Go start collecting. Like, what little person wouldn't love, like, a basket of blinds? So I got a troll, and then this one is a fingerling, and these are pretty recent. This is, um, from Series 2. My store had three boxes of them. I'm assuming they were all different series, but we just need the one. So the fingerlings, which I think are adorable, and I believe they're, like, pencil toppers. It says three surprises. So you get a ring, a bracelet, and then the fingerling, it looks like. But it also is holding on to a pen or a pencil. So we need to open that one at some point. And then I got this one, which is, looks like it's from Christmas. It's a Hasbro, and it is My Little Pony. Surprise little blind box. So we'll open all these eventually. I think I have five now. So I'll, okay, buddy, I need to put my legs there. I gotta put my legs there. I do. Um, thank you. Okay. So I thought I would just collect, I'm sorry, a bunch of the blind bags and then we'll open them at one. We'll do one like grand opening and see what we got. Now, I finally found the chalk pencils or the chalk pens, chalk writer. They came in all different colors, but I just got the white and it says it's wear, uh, wet erasable, mess and dust free. Great for chalkboards, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirror, ceramic, and metal. So I have to get a chalkboard out and we'll try it. I will say that I have used chalk pens before from um, Target's Dollar Spot. And they work great and they do wash off. The problem is they leave a shadow behind of whatever you write. So for whatever it's worth. Now, I think what would be fantastic, instead of a chalkboard to write with these pens, what I would do, if I wanted that set up, is get a picture frame, put a piece of black paper behind the glass, and use these on the glass. Because then it would definitely wash off, and it wouldn't leave that shadow of your words or drawing or whatever behind you. But that's really cool. You could do that. And I've seen that in like restaurants and stuff. And you just need a piece of black, you know, craft paper, construction paper, or any color really. But I grabbed these so we can try those at some point. I picked up my store. Finally got a little more decent. Um, the one here on 256 in Pickerington or Reynoldsburg got some decent wood stuff in. So these are just little make your own signs. And I almost thought this would be kind of fun now that I'm a, I'm a cross stitcher, maybe for mounting things. I doubt I'll do that, but they're little, little signs. It's wood. 
I got that shape. I got this shape. I got an oval, which I think this would be fantastic with like my name on it or a dress or something and put it in the middle of a wreath. I think that would be awesome for that. And like some fancy numbers or letters. And then another one like this on some string, which you can unstaple the strings. It's just stapled on. But I thought these would be fun to just stash away. And then when, you know, sign making time or I need to make a sign or do something, I have these. Um, what I liked about this one in particular, look at the wood grain. Oh, can you see it? Look at that wood grain, it's pretty neat. And I know you can stain these if you have like a favorite stain or something, like a wood stain. All right, still in the craft, actually I think all of this is crafty stuff for the most part. I finally found the 11 by 14 canvas. Hi buddy. Um, I just like this size and it will go into a frame, you know, 11 by 14 frame. So you could do something, paint it up, whatever. Make your design and then frame it. And um, Goodwill is a great place. I'm actually on the hunt at Goodwill for a round frame for my cross stitch of the cat. But I found, and I just picked up the two. But these are a good size. This is a hefty size. For kids, I mean, honestly, sit them down with a paintbrush. I should show you my little niece when she was three or four. I just sat her down with a canvas and some paint and told her to go to town. All right, buddy, watch out. Um, then I found this canvas bag, and it just says work hard, play hard. And I think these are great to like go to the library, um, to grocery store if you're just getting a small amount. It's not overly thick. I mean, it's a pretty thin bag, but it definitely, if you have knitting, crocheting projects, that's what I tend to use this type of a bag for to throw my project bags in. Buddy, you gonna make it over here? He has asthma. He's having a little wheezy. Let me, and the other one's over here rolling around on his back. All right, so yeah, work hard, play hard. These are great, it's a tote. Um, you definitely, definitely, definitely wanna cut these. Do not pull, you will rip your bag. Definitely wanna cut these little tags. I'm a ripper, but not in this situation because I could just see myself tearing that. I found one of these wreath hangy, doo-woppy thingies. Um, it's cute, but I'll probably like, if I use it, I will paint over it. And I don't know if I'm gonna use it on a wreath. I think this would be fun just to, you know, that wall in my bedroom that has um, the bohemian feel to it. I always look for round things and I could totally paint this a more bohemian color style and hang it on my round wall. So that was kind of cool. Fine, for that, I found for my mantle, if you see over here, the felt heart with the wooden heart, I got the eggs. And I thought what I would do um, is paint the, I just got an Amazon order. Apparently, I didn't even see the Amazon person coming. Um, glue the little, uh, what are they, ornaments. Paint them and glue them on here so they're sitting in the middle and then hang these from my mantle. And this package comes with 12. And they are purple, blue, and pink. I was kind of hoping for white, but that's okay. Purple, blue, and pink. I'm not a huge pastel lover, but I don't feel like this pink is pastel anyway. So we'll see. So that's an idea with those. And I know with these pens, you can write on this. You can write on these, on felt. You can write on anything with these chalk pens. And then I found this. Look at this spring garland. I'm going to take this out and show you maybe. It, no, it's daisies with the little yellow and green, and I'm gonna attach this to the beads behind me before I hang all my spring stuff and whatever I decide. And this is spring fling, it's only five feet, which is perfect for my pro you know, for my preference, or I could hang it in my kitchen where I have other beads hanging. But I thought that was amazing, and I love the simplicity of that. Ow, my knee. Okay, I found magnets. 
um, for, you know, all kinds of craftiness. And I thought this was great. And I thought they were super thick, so I opened them up. They're not. They're pretty thin, and they're great, but you get, um, oops, you get 14 of them. So you get 14 of these little magnets. So if you want to make refrigerator magnets, honestly, any of this stuff could become a refrigerator, you know, magnet or a gift for somebody. Or if you have a, like a magnetic board, these are just a great to have. They're not super strong, but they're great. And they will definitely hold up something, you know, of weight. Um, I needed a lighter for my candles. That's just an everyday purchase. Um, now, one of the cross stitches that I'm working on or will be working on for Christmas, I showed you the other day with the black cat sitting on the packages and I didn't read take sequins and beads. So I knew it needed a green and I picked up, you know, when you see stuff, you just need to grab it. So for a dollar, you get all these colors and I liked the lime green, but I love this green and I can use these for other projects. It's not a big deal, but I like that I can just get a little amount and then it has greens and all these blues and um, purple colors. So I grabbed those for that project. And what I do is I will put together a tote or like a basket for my wall upstairs and it'll have just cross stitching things in it or this can go in my drawer of embellishments either one um because i also picked up beads which these are a great value i really overlooked them all before the only issue i say issue it's not really an issue is that they're different sized beads like these are tiny little be seed beads and these these are a little larger, but I loved that they came in all these shades of gold. Um, and I needed black for the black cat, which I will order a whole bag of the black because the cat is pretty large. Um, but like for his eyes, I only need two beads for the cat eyes. And then for the ornaments, I just needed a couple beads. So I'm like, well, I'll just grab these. And if it doesn't work, it's fine. I will have a, something for them. I will use them, but... These are just little seed beads that I grabbed for, you know, projects and stuff. And I thought that was a good deal and a good variety. Again, I don't need a ton, so just a little amount. So I grabbed those. And then I think one of the best crafty finds that they finally got in my store. Guys, look at these little scissors. And I think I did show these on another haul, but these are four inch. So they are TSA compliant. Um, they are good for any kind of traveling crafts or your little project bags. I actually got them for my knitting bags. I have a pair, a small pair for my crochet or for my needle. What is it called? Cross stitch. I'm going to have to get this straight cross stitch, but, um, I grabbed two pair to keep with my knitting supplies. So if I'm taking a knitting project somewhere, I will have a pair of little scissors to toss in. These are, you know, you're always cutting yarns and threads and things. And so having a tiny pair like this is perfect. And they were $1. So I grabbed two. I have a tub that has all of my knitting stuff, like knitting accessories or notions that you need. And when I put together a knitting project, like kit up a knitting project, um, I grab, you know, whatever I'm going to need, stitch markers, my knitting needles, um, a tape measure, usually a pen, and then I throw a pair of scissors in as well. And then that whole project is, you know, complete and I can just take it on the go. And then the last thing I found, which I thought was really interesting, and I will probably give this to Sarah, it is from the brand Heart Candy, which I know they sell at Walmart, and it's a contouring kit. So, she, you know, she can mess around with that. I know she does contouring. I don't know what the quality is. I can try it. I have bronzer and all that. But I thought for $1, that's a pretty cool little thing for her to have. And that was everything. That's my haul for the week. My store doesn't have a lot of spring out yet. They're still kind of win dealing with Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day. Um, there's just a few Easter things I've been looking for. And then, um, 
you know, summertime will come. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just one haul a week unless I get enough stuff for two. But I think I would rather do one longer haul than two short hauls, if that makes sense. So all this stuff's going to get put away on my cross stitch stuff like these will just go in I have a drawer of stuff like embellishment type things these will go in there and when I get to that Christmas I think it's going to be like an ornament pillow when I get to that I can know exactly where my stuff is and go put it all together I don't even know what color beads I need but I assume green I know gold because both of these boys have yellow eyes so they're gonna have yellow I need the gold for that and also for the Chris, any Christmas thing that I do, I can add beads to it. So I'm on the hunt for like red, black, and I don't know what other colors I need. Uh, blues, I think. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right, everybody. Well, you have a good day and I will talk to you soon.